Today I'm going to set up a motion recording on this camera as well as a tripwire. A lot of people have been asking for a very quick tutorial, so let's take you uh, let's take you through. First things first, let's log in. Uh, here's my pattern, nice and easy. Step one, go under storage. Out of the factory, it's continuous recording, so it's in green. We got to change that, so we go under the setup gear, select motion, deselect general and copy motion to all the days. Hit OK. Second step is to send this to all of the cameras that you've got on the system. All right, so the easiest thing is just to copy to all and then link it. So you're linking the schedule to all of the cameras. Very simple. And then you hit apply. That's now done, your schedule is ready to go. Step two is to go under the alarm tab Go under video detection, which is actually selected here by me, and you want to enable uh, motion detection for channel one. So I'm going to enable that and I'm going to hit OK. So now channel one has been selected and motion is enabled. I only have one camera connected to the system, but I would have D2 and D3 and D4 if I had more cameras on the, on the recorder. You can also set up your regions over here. I have deselected a few squares, anything in red is going to record motion. Anything that has been deselected, like this corner here because of the tree, will not be recording motion. But if you want, just do that and do that. And now the entire screen is motion triggered. Uh, when you hover your mouse up to the top, you can set your sensitivity up and your threshold. The lower the threshold, uh, the more sensitive the whole thing will be. And then sensitivity, I typically like to keep it at about 90. So threshold low, sensitivity high. Okay, right click out, hit apply. That's your motion recording. One other screen that you should sort of consider going into would be under the little camera setting down here. Uh, going under the encode, typically out of the factory, you're gonna see this. Okay, that's your continuous recording, but we disengage that. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into motion recording, select your frame rate, you know, whenever it sees motion, it's going to go to this frame rate. Continuous um, bit rate or variable bit rate. I like to keep it in continuous bit rate. And then the actual bit rate, um, kilobytes per second. So I keep it at that. I hit apply. Motion recording is now done. Okay, so step two, setting up the, uh, the tripwire. Let's do that. Main menu, AI. I got to activate under, so I'm glad this actually popped in. So smart plan is the first place I need to go to. For camera one, I want to activate IVS. So I'm going to select the IVS. And I'm going to hit apply. Now the recorder and the camera knows that we're going to be setting up an IVS feature. So now I can go under IVS and actually set it up. I'm in the IVS setup screen. I'm going to add a new rule and it's going to be a tripwire there's a number of different options that you can set up here but tripwire is the one we're going to do let's draw that line so i want anything crossing this line here okay i can dictate in which direction the object has to be moving either from top down or down up or both in this instance i'm going to keep both and then my target filtering is going to be for humans and motor vehicles I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to apply that. Jump out, and there's my line. It's that basic. Well, that's not me running, but let's see if she gets it. Boom, pick them up. As you can see, the line is flashing. That means the alarm has been set off. And at this point, you can be getting a push notification, an email, and a whole slew of other things can be happening at this very moment right now.